So, what got me on this stage? I don't know if you saw these steps, but with a tight skirt, high heels, you have to trust the one that's holding your hand, because else you fall down. And if I would have started this talk as a fallen woman, you might have thought it would be part of the business because we have a doctor in the room. Forget about it. That was not intentionally then. But what got me here in the first place, and that was trust of Bart and his team in me, allowing me to give the opportunity to talk to you, to hopefully inspire you, as I've been inspired today. Well, people might say I'm breaking borders. When I was 17, I dreamt about being an international businesswoman. I could see myself carrying a trolley dolly, I would call them, and travel the world, meet new people, connect with new people, do wonderful things. But, and I'm saying but, that was an issue. I wanted to be independent, so I chose the shortest education I could find. I became a receptionist. Further away from an international businesswoman, I think you couldn't get. So when the opportunity came to become a secretary, I thought, you know, that's me. Poor people I had to work with. I was lousy at it. I was so absolutely lousy at it. It was really pathetic because secretaries is a profession and I didn't get that part. But when the opportunity came to become a manager of 17 people in a department, whoa, then things started to change. I felt I belonged in this position. And then all of a sudden, education was not so horrible anymore. So I started educating. And I grew to become a global procurement officer, traveling the world with my trolley dolly <laughs> and connecting people. And I was privileged because I worked with people who were extraordinary. I loved their contribution and I loved them because they were great people. And here comes the thing. People say I'm breaking borders. I say I'm exploring new frontiers because in trusting me to do what I do, I took the next step. I quit my job of 26 years and started my own business. Thank God I didn't know what I was getting into because I wouldn't have dared to do it. I had an office, no job, no clients, and bills to be paid. Thank God I had a husband who supported me <laughs> in my thoughts and said, if this is your dream, do it. And then something really wonderful happened. I was allowed to grow abroad and again cross borders. I worked with people in Moscow, in Canada, Toronto. I worked with people in Abu Dhabi. I worked in Aruba and a lot of countries in between. But how did I get there? There's one thing that really touched me today, and I hope it did you too. Because we're breaking borders here today. And we're talking about this side of the border is the Netherlands. Venlo is very close by. The other side of the borders, they're the Germans. And we love them because they bring us business, except for German holidays. Then it's a whole different matter. The thing is, we've got religions. We got them and us. We got old people, young people. We got people who belong to a certain group who we don't belong to. We like people, we don't like people, we've got old people. But all of us share one thing, and sometimes we forget that. And that's, we're all human. First and foremost, we're human. And if you listen to the talks that were before me, they inspired me. They were all humans, each one of them unique, because that's something we share as well. In fact, we're all unique. We've got feelings. Who of you still remember that picture of this girl with the green eyes? Who was touched by this picture? By this picture? Who could sense the pure despair of that girl just by looking at this picture? I think all of us did. And when we listen to the story, life stories, stories, a quest to find the truth, we were touched. Each one of us can feel the touch. And that's something really good. 
Because we've got feelings. Thank God for that one. We've got intuition. We've got ratio. Also very good. And here the funny thing comes in. We don't always focus on humanity, that what unites us, but we focus on that what separates us, our uniqueness. But how can magic come across? How can magic happen? By the way, did you know that magic is science of the future? Did you? Magic happens when we connect each other's uniqueness. And now the funny part comes. Because that means we have to communicate, right? And if we break borders out of fear, what happens? is completely different than when we break borders out of trust, pure interest in the other person. That's when magic happens. And the other day when I was teaching, because I'm a guest lecturer at the university, I love that job. One of the students came to me because I always ask for feedback at the end of class. And he said, you know what really touched me today? And I said, no, I didn't. And he said, well, in five minutes' time, you created an environment of trust where people dared to share themselves and the others. And that touched me. That touched me really, really deep, profound. Because a lot of the times what we do is we educate skills. But if we really want to be ready for all the challenges that the people talked about, we need to develop ourselves. We, know, we need to know what makes us unique. And we have to trust the other one as well, equally as ourselves, to be unique. And then connection can happen. That's when real magic comes about. Now, isn't that wonderful? And today, we witnessed some very unique, inspiring people. And that is wonderful. I'm so privileged to be up here in Venlo, my hometown, with people I love, people who wish me well, people who believe in me. So how cool is that? And when we bring it back to where we are, I would like to ask you one thing. Could you please do me a huge favor and close your eyes just for a second? No peeking, just close your eyes. And just bear in mind that the best things in life are unseen. That's why we close our eyes when we kiss, cry, and dream. We heard a lot of dreams today. Let us be inspired to do something with it. Not tomorrow, but today. Thank you. <laughs>